one of them. Okay, I'm going to give you one of the give you two problems to do on your own. Uh, one similar to this one, one similar to, to the one we did over here. So there you go. Work on that one. I'm, I think I'm going to write two on the board. I think we can go pretty quickly through these. Okay, we gotta get started on the first one or we're not gonna have time on that. Um, so on the first problem, of course we're gonna make this all over one. I hope that you did that. I hope you found your LCD. Your LCD is what here? We're going to take and multiply everything by x. <coughs> really, x over 1. We can show that if we want. Here we'll get 8x. We'll get, oh, those are gone. We'll get plus 7. We'll get x squared. And we'll get plus 2x. How many made it that far? On that problem? Very good. Now, do we solve this like it is, or do we have to get everything to one side and 0 on the other side? Yeah. Gotta get zero. Otherwise, the factor's not gonna make a difference. So zero, we're gonna move the left to the right or the right to the left. Okay. So minus eight x seven equals x squared minus six x. We'll subtract seven. Zero equals x squared minus six x minus seven. You still with me on this, folks? Mm -hmm. We'll do what now? I'm thinking minus 7 plus 1. You're not quite done yet. You do have to set them each equal to 0. x minus 7 equals 0. 
x plus 1 equals 0. We'll add 7. <coughs> x is 7. We'll subtract 1. x is negative 1. You have to check one thing. Make sure these denominators don't make this 0. They don't because they're, they're, po they're uh, a positive and negative number. They're integers. So we're good. They're both solutions in this case. Now, the next ones, we don't have time to go over. I only have like 10 seconds. Um, do you know how to do this one? What would you do first? Factor. Great. Factor, find your LCD, multiply three things by that. Simplify, distribute, and solve it. You don't even get x squared on this problem. This one, can you see your LCD already? Yes. Just multiply everything by x plus 3. Distribute. You will have an x squared. Get everything to one side and solve it. Uh, what I'm gonna, this are, these are our last two problems. We'll do them the first maybe five minutes of class next time. Um, and then I'll, I'll, I'll post that with, with this lesson. But uh, we're, we're essentially done. That's it. And that's all we got to cover. So I'm going to give you your homework. It's not going to be due tomorrow, but I really do need you to start on it because you're probably going to have another homework assignment tomorrow, okay? Um, so you need to get almost done with this, this assignment. So here you go. So if you remember from last time we were about to do these problems, can you tell me what's the first step in doing the problem on the left-hand side, which we need to know? So let's factor that. These two, of course, are factored, but this one we'll take and factor it 6x, and we'll get x plus 2, x minus 7. So we should know how to factor the diamond method, no big deal. After you factor, what's the next thing we should try to do, folks? Okay. Can you see the LCD up there right now? What is the LCD for us? So we have the LCD. Now what do we do with that? Are we trying to find a common denominator or are we trying to eliminate denominators? What do you think? Great. How do we do that? Okay, so everywhere we see a term or a fraction, we're going to multiply the entire LCD. What that's going to do is simplify out all of our denominators. Remember, if you make it to the next step and you still have a fraction, you've done something wrong, go back and fix that. So everywhere we're going to have, in our case, x plus 2, x minus 7, even over here. Notice that the reason why we can do this is, again, what do we have up here that we didn't have on the last section's homework? That's why. That was, that's what tells you you can do it. If you have an equal sign, that means you can multiply both sides by the same thing. Or in other words, every single term. We can simplify out our denominators, and that lets us do this problem very easily. So what simplifies up here? How about in our first fraction? What are we going to have left? 6x. That's great. So all of this stuff is gone. We have 6x. Then we have a minus sign. And what simplifies over here? Now, are we going to distribute now or wait to the next step? What do you think? Yeah, we're going to definitely wait because we want to make sure this minus sign gets distributed with that 3. That's an important step. I'm still, I'm still seeing that on some of your homework that you're not distributing negative. So when you get this homework back, some of you have the wrong numerators and I've crossed it out because you're, you're not distributing negative and you're adding together like terms that really shouldn't even be there. So be careful on that. Over here on the far side of our equation, the x minus sevens are gone. We have x plus two, and now we're kind of on the home stretch. This is a this is a very basic problem considering we started with that. I mean, just one step, and we have something very nice. We're going to distribute, so six x minus three x, and of course we're going to get plus twenty one. Do you see where that's coming from? Mm -hmm. Equals x plus two. We're going to combine some like terms if we can. Here we have three x plus twenty one equals x plus two. Get everything to one side or solve it directly? What do you think? One side. Do you have an x squared? No. So do I have to get everything to one side? No. Okay. So we're going to subtract the smaller variable from there. It's a piece of cake to solve. We get rid of a constant, and our last step is to divide. So we'll subtract 21. Divide by 2.
And unless you've made a mistake somewhere, that should be our answer. How many will feel good about doing a problem like that one? In the middle row, are you guys okay with that? Okay. Yeah? Okay. How about left row? Are you guys okay with that? Yes, no? Yeah, okay. So the whole idea is factor, find your LCD, use that if you have an equation to simplify your denominators. After this, I'm, I went through this really quick because this is old stuff. I mean, this is really, really old stuff. So this from here should be like a no-brainer. The really the only thing I've taught you in this class is how to do, well, factoring, LCD, and then using that to get down to this stuff. This is really this class right here. This stuff is all pre-algebra stuff. Okay, now the next one. We're going to go ahead and look at this. Before I even think about the LCD, what should I do? Okay, so maybe make these things into fractions so you're not considering this and this as your denominator. So we'll do that. We'll change this into a 1 and over 1. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody, what is my LCD here? That's great. Okay. What am I going to do with that LCD? How many terms are there here? Four. So that means here and here and here and there. Am I doing x plus 3 over x plus 3 or just x plus 3? What do you think? Good. So I'm going to do x plus 3 over x plus 3. Good. So I'm going to do x plus 3 and here. I'm going to have to have some parentheses. Of course, if you want to show it over 1, you can do that as well. I don't choose to because we, we really know what's going on at this point. Um, do you see anything that's going to simplify? X plus 3. X plus three. Mm -hmm. How about here? No. But before I distribute that, I'm just going to write it a little bit different, just to make sure I stick with the same process here. I'm going to write it x times x plus 3. No problem. Nothing simplifies there. How about the next fraction? Does anything simplify? Any other x. Mm -hmm. So what am I going to have? Negative 6. Okay, that's the left side. Then I have an equal sign. Here I also see the x plus 3's are gone. I get 2x. And then I get plus 2 times x plus 3. Again, I'm not distributing it in my head because I want to make sure that this sign, whatever it, gets, whatever it is, gets distributed. That's kind of an important process for us. Okay. Well, that already looks a little bit better. What are we going to do next? What am I going to get when I distribute this first? x squared plus 3x. I still have that minus 6, then I have 2x, and I'm going to get 2x plus 6. Keep going. So on the right hand side of the room, what now? Okay. Do I have any on the left side? Right side? Yes. Okay, now, here's where you need to know what to do. Either you know what to do or you're going to get stuck on this problem. Do we get everything to one side or do we solve it directly? What do you think? Yeah, one side. Why is that different than this? Yeah, that's, that's, right. Right. that's right. That's exactly right. So here I'm going to keep the x squared positive. I'm going to move these, this stuff over to the left hand side. So minus 4x. Then minus 6. Let's do that. We can't do this, we can't factor yet because we don't have the zero. We need a zero over there for the zero product property to work. So that's why we have to keep going and get x squared minus x minus 12 equals zero. That zero, that's really important. We've talked about that a few times in here. You have to have the zero. Okay, we have the set equals zero, and now what do we do? Yeah, the diamond method says we're going we're gonna to factor that thing. And here, at this point, we should be 